So this is a, another question on the Coursera exercises. If I have two vectors, x, which is assigned the value 1, 3, and 5, and y, which is assigned the value 3, 2, and 10, what is produced by the expression r bind x, uh, x and y? Okay, so an important thing to consider here is what is this command r bind? What I could do first off is actually just run it, the command, so just to see what it does and just have a guess uh, at what it does. But then what we'll do after that is actually try to find out more about this command. So what we have here is we have x on the top row and y on the bottom row and we have a 2 by 3 object. It's sort of like a matrix essentially. And so actually I'll just tell you that it what has happened there is that a matrix X or the array a vector X and vector Y have been bound or binded together by rows. So you could sort of say well I'm, I'm trying to explain it just so you could see the relevance of the name. R bind means row bind or bound, bind them according to rows. So there's a Use the help file to find out what the commands R bind, C bind, and T do. So let's have that's a great idea. Always do this when you're learning R. Just find out what commands do. Help R bind. So what is going to happen there? That's not how you spell help. Just typo. Uh, just give that a second there. Now I'll just bring it into shot. It's a bit hard to read here, but what I'll do is just sort of say. Uh, uh, combine by rows or columns respectively. So it's R bind and C bind or C bind and R bind. So co combine objects by rows and columns. So just right up there at the top that's what uh, it does now. So let's move on from that. Uh, it's probably best actually if you're looking at this on YouTube to go to full screen mode because it might be a bit hard to read that otherwise. So, uh, what is the command t do? What is that about? Small t. So, help t. Just t. And the, given a matrix or data frame x, that, that t returns the transpose of x. So, let's go back to this now. So, we have x and y here. We have x, we have y. And our bind is to combine them by row. Okay, uh, sorry, X and Y. C bind, let's clear the screen there. C bind, X and Y. That combines them by column. Okay, so what we have there is treed rows, two columns, so that's a th 3 by 2. Now, the transpose operator is. As it, as it is in linear algebra, as it is in uh, mathematics, it's essentially arrange columns as rows and rows as columns. And I just forgot to put in y there. So the transpose of C bind x and y is essentially the same as R bind, and vice versa. So there we go there. Now, just as a remark, the question actually asks us the dimension of the output. So it's, let's look at the output again of R bind X and Y. There we have it there. So the convention is to specify the number of rows first, and there are two rows, and then the number of columns. So there are three columns. So what we're looking at here is a two by three array or matrix. So let's go back to our options there. And there it is there, a 2 by 3 matrix. Okay, so that's that one. Now I'm going to sort of move on from that and I'll just go to another one related to operations and vectors. So I sort of skipped on a bit. This is question 9. Suppose I have a vector x which is assigned to value 1, 1 to 4. That's a sequence of values 1 to 4, and it includes all values. So it actually is 1, 2, 3, and 4. So it includes 4. The reason I say that is if you're familiar with other programming languages, 
uh, that operator would work a little bit differently. And a vector y, which is assigned the value to, what happens when you add them together? So again, this is straightforward enough stuff. I don't have it ready. So let's actually have a go with that. So x assign the value 1 to 4. So let's look at x there. 1, 2, 3, 4. It's a sequence of integers from 1 to 4 and includes 1 and 4. y, we're going to assign the value 2. And what happens when we add x plus y? So what happens is that y gets, uh, which is the value 2, it just gets added to each element of x. Okay, so that's rel relatively easy. What I'm going to do is mix things up a bit. I'm going to say x x here is 1, 2, 3, 4. And I'm going to assign the value uh, to y, 1 and 2, or 1 to 2. Okay, so let's look at y there, 1 and 2. What happens when we add x and y? So we have 2 plus 4, uh, two, sorry, 2, 4, 4, and 6. This is called recycling. So 1, the first item of, uh, the first element of y gets added to the first element of x, and that's why we have 2 there. 2, the second element, gets added to the second element of x, the second, and there we get 4. Now what happens is that y runs out of values here. So we have a third value of uh, x, but y doesn't have a third value. So what will happen here is we'll go back to the first. So we have 3 plus 1 here. And so essentially what we do is if we run out, just go back to the start and just keep going. And 4 gets added to 2, and that gives us 6. So that is the... That's as far as I'll go with this presentation. It's just some simple R stuff that'll help you uh, learn everything you need to know. And a couple of uh, counter examples there as well. And again, uh, probably best looking at this in full screen mode.